Hello, 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 Martin here with your property clinic. Slightly different one this week. Oh, the fuck, my son is still on my chair. I know, it's a practical, silly thing, but I came into my room, which, by the way, somebody has complained about being too messy. Well, you know what? This is my messy room. I've got other rooms which are not messy. This one is messy. So if you don't like it, you can always green screen the background out or cut out of me and put some tropical background in it, whatever you want. Do you mind the messy room? I mean, this is a working kind of video production room, you know? That's what it is. The running theme. Ah, but the keen-eyed amongst you might notice something slightly different about this video. That is the perspective on me and the rest of the room. Oh, yes. Charlie, my lovely editor, if you want to flick back to what they normally look like and how it looks now. Uh, yeah, that's because my son has stolen my chair. It's not a big thing, there's lots of chairs in the house, but I can't be bothered. So I'm actually now sitting on this, which is a stool. And the problem is it's very small. So therefore I am very small. So perspectively I'm very small. Anyway, whatever. You're not here to contemplate angles of view and how they affect sizes. <laughs> that's an interesting concept. Uh, you're here to have questions answered. That's right. On a Monday, I do Ask Martin Monday on Twitter. And uh, my Twitter is at TV Martin Roberts. And then I recycle the questions in an eco friendly way and present this, my property clinic, to you on YouTube. Anyway, whatever. Same questions. Uh, longer answers, basically, in a nutshell. Okay, let's get on. Dong Gary, how are you coping during these trying times of the pandemic? This one's um, not good. <laughs> Not enjoying this at all. I don't know why. I think it's just we're all a bit bored, aren't we? Bored and tired and God, the weather. I mean, look at the weather. This weekend's not too bad, but the weather has been rubbish. So it's just rubbish. And I'm just sick of it. Uh, anyway, we now have a plan. We have a, a route out and we've just got to stick with it. And uh, we'll get there. Oh, God, and then the drinking can begin. No, the partying can begin. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so anyway, let's get on with the important stuff. Amazon.co.uk. What? What a name. Good service. <laughs> you can't knock it. Let's get on with the important stuff, right? What's your favourite biscuit, Martin? You a dark chocolate digestive man. Uh, yeah. So I am a biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. I am a Jaffa cake biscuit man. That's not really a biscuit, is it? So let's just move over the, the whole Jaffa, Jaffa cake debacle because, you know, biscuit, what did they, they had some kind of a big court case, didn't they? or something with VAT people about it was really important whether a Jaffa cake was a biscuit or a cake. And I can't remember what, what they were hoping it was and what it ended up being, but anyway, whatever, I can't remember. So anyway, Jaffa cake, so let's assume that's not a biscuit of the sort that you're contemplating there. A uh, Kit Kat, you see, there we go, you see Kit Kat again. Is that a biscuit? Not really. I think you're talking about more traditional biscuits, a bit like your bourbons or your custard creams, uh, or in fact, your digestives, chocolate digestives. Now there's... I never really, I had to say this, I never really particularly warm to chocolate digestives. How can I say that? I mean, that's absolute sacrilege. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! See, why am I finding it so difficult to pick the shortbreads? I like shortbreads. It's not really a biscuit either, is it? Let's just go back to childhood and let's say malted milk. All right, a malted milk biscuit, which had those pictures of cows around the edges or dots around the edges or something on it. It was weird. And I used to like that, probably because of the cows around the edges or something. Thank you for that question. It was good. James, hello James. Do you think property surrounding new stations along the HS2 proposed line will experience a much larger than average price increase once the stations are complete? Absolutely. Think about Ebbsfleet and one of the other stations on the fast track to the continent. One of the big strategies that we teach in my property trainings, um, which you can find out about martinroberts.com. Oh yeah, bought the name. Oh, I guess I've got the domain. MartinRoberts.com, dun dun dun. Uh, you can find out about that there. One of the strategies we teach is investing in areas where other people are investing. So if somebody's spending a lot of money but they're doing HS2, whether you like it or not, and uh, therefore there's going to be infrastructure around that. And also, just forget it, I mean, HS2 is going to mean you can get the places really quickly whenever it's built. <laughs> so I would say yes, it might be a bit of a slightly medium to long term investment, but I would say for sure. Um, love this one. This is my kind of question. Really thought this one through. Love it. Love it. David. Hello, David. Hi, Martin. I was going to ask a long-winded legal question, or long-winded even, but I couldn't be bothered writing it out. So, what's your favourite pizza topping? Love it, David. Fantastic. Well, actually, pizza topping is slightly easier than biscuit. I can't believe I struggled on biscuit there. Uh, pizza topping, pepperoni and ham, uh, feta cheese. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't actually get that pizza. You have to make it yourself or whatever. You have to go to 
beat the base and stuff like that. However, I said that we. I've just discovered that actually you can make pizza dough in the pe in a bread maker. Oh, really, Martin? No kidding. Yeah, and it's actually really good. And you can make your own pizzas, and that is really fun, and it actually tastes really good. So the other one I made the other night, actually, strangely enough, had pepperoni and ham, uh, and little tomatoes, and uh, goat cheese. Yum, yum, yum. So thank you, David. That's got me hungry. Doki108. Hello, Stokey. Hi, we have an extension on the side of our house, and despite hot radiation, the rooms are cold. Is this a cavity wall insulation thing or something else? Extension. Well, well, the extension should have been built with a cavity wall. You can tell and you tell that by the thickness of the walls, because a cavity wall is going to be so thick, and a single brick wall is going to be that thick if you allow for, you know, um, actually it's about perspective. So that distance there is four inches. <laughs> that distance there is about eight inches. It should be about eight inches. You can do a few things. What's the roof? Most of the heat is going to go through the roof. So what is in the roof space? Insulate the heck out of that. If you've got just nothing underneath the extension, as in it's just the roof there, you can get plasterboard, which has got insulation attached to it. So normal plasterboard with like two inches of insulation attached to it. It will shrink the size of the rooms, but oh boy, oh boy, will that make a difference. And the other thing to remember is the floor. Is the floor insulated? Because the most heat is going to go out for the floor or the ceiling. So first of all, sort out the loft space. If that's not been insulated, insulate the heck out of it with a foot of insulated material. You can't put too much in. Uh, and the floor, uh, that's slightly more tricky, but you can insulate and then um, put t tiles on your flooring on top of it. And then the walls, feel if the walls are really cold and perhaps they um, they haven't got insulation on them. And if it hasn't got a cavity wall, if it has got a cavity wall, you can also have that filled. If it hasn't got a cavity wall, um, yeah, a plasterboard with insulation on it might be your answer. Stokey. Tizza Lily. Tizza Lily. Hello, Tizza Lily. Do auction houses ever turn down properties? And if so, why? Thanks. Uh, I think auction houses would generally take most things as long as they could caveat any sale with the facts. Um, I think you obviously need to prove your ownership of the property and the property would have to have a legal right to be sold. But other than that, I would say no, I think they'd take most things, which is why they're kind of exciting because you get all sorts. Charlotte Beebe, hello Charlotte. My house has a garage at the back with no space down to the side to actually put a car in it. Hmm. Its only purpose is storage, workshop maybe, and it looks unsightly really. Should I pull it down or keep it? Will it affect the house resale price? Ex council Hemi uh, Hemi and Stoke. Okay, so that garage at the back is a classic, right? I don't know what that was basically built to be a storage area. Uh, it looks unsightly. How bad is it? Could you renovate it? Could you put wood, nice wood, in front of the wood that's already there? If you can renovate it, I wouldn't get rid of space. What are you going to put in its place? Just the open garden, I guess. If it's blocking the view to the garden, maybe from the house. An ex council semi detached would have thought, I would have thought it would have a half decently built garage, unless it was probably added on afterwards. See if you can add wood onto the surface of the wood that's already there to make it look more pretty to, to uh, you know, from the house or whatever. Uh, and if it is blocking the view, then I would take it down. Uh, but make sure if, if it's asbestos, of course, uh, if any danger that it's asbestos, you can tell that from I don't know, a lot of corrugated sheeting of a certain area was asbestos, a lot of tiles uh, were made of asbestos. You need to have that checked out. So yeah, if it's asbestos, you need a specialist firm in to sort that out. Diane Penn Barkley, hello Diane. Anyone ever thought you and Lucy were married? Ah, uh, well, um, yes actually, um, much to her husband's annoyance, um, because we're not. <laughs> we are husband and screen wife, um, but that's what we say, I was so called my screen wife. And uh, no, apparently people do come up to her occasionally when she's out with her husband and accuse him of, um, of cheating on uh, me, uh, or her producer cheating on me, which is very funny, because that really cheeses him off, as you might imagine. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Love you, Lucy. Gareth Evans, would you do another celebrity reality show again? And if so, which one? We need more Martin on our televisions. Love you, Gareth. Or a home's another have a dedicated channel. Wow, oh, interesting. Well, somebody told me about something the other week. That there's a, there is a channel that shows a heck of uh, a lot of um, homes of the hammer. Well, Pluto or something, I don't know. Anyway, and it is on other places. So um, there are some different places. To do. Somebody told me about the fact there was a homes of the hammer weekend once. It's like back to back homes of the hammer. Wow. Well, there's certainly enough shows to watch. 
Would I do the celebrity reality show? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to do Strictly, actually. That's my top priority. Um, only because I've got, um, I've got ghosts to cast out. Can't tell you about that right now. Uh, but uh, next time, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'd say it would be Strictly, probably. Uh, well, you know, I think all those things are quite interesting, aren't they? I, I met Bear Grylls, actually, doing a thing for um, Ant and Deck. Ooh, watch out for that. Saturday night takeaway. Yeah, bit of a hot tip. God, I'm not sure I was supposed to say anything. Oh, well, anyway, too late now. Anyway, met Bear Grylls, and yeah, he said, and I said that I was, I was almost I was shortlisted for the island, but then the island uh, got... Um, well, the thing got cancelled because of COVID. So, um, and he said it was a bit of a lucky escape because <laughs> I think it's quite tough. So, you know, hey, I'll probably do it. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so that's your lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, don't remember, or do remember, hashtag Ask Marty Monday at TV Martin Roberts uh, is the thing you need. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again, hopefully, with a chair next week. Not really, a different chair, a big chair. The one that's the right size. You know what I mean? Have a good week. <laughs>